Well, we really don't quite know what to expect yet from either one of these sides. They've both won one and lost one. For Aldershot Town, two changes. Jordi van Stapperschurf in goal. Harris, Rowe and Minoga, the back three, will let you know fairly soon on whether... I think it is going to be Rowe in the middle and uh, Minoga on the right, so he may try and rampage forward a bit from there now and again. Harfield and Jones, the wing-back, so Keith and Theo Widrington back in the side tonight, holding the midfield. Tyler Frost will relish this one tonight because he gets in the heart of midfield, but with a bit of more forward thrust applicable. And then Barham and Tolage up front, and uh, we are underway here at uh, Ebbsfleet. Ball through on Monogo. It's an intense start. Two sides desperate to bounce back from Saturday's defeats. Rowe is a, a little bit late getting to his tackle. Player over the free kick. Oh, <laughs> your big moment there. And in it comes, and it's over the bar. Widrington in possession is dispossessed by Polian. Polian's running straight at Rowe. Rowe tries to block him. It breaks free to Domi. Edge of the area, he wants to get it back on his left foot. Shot comes in. Oh, what a goal! What a goal from Franklin Domi. Draws his man, switches it onto his left foot, and another shot goes flying past Jordi van Stapperschurf. The first of the night and the eighth of the season, Steve Gibbs. Yeah. 31 minutes in. Ebbs, Fleet 1, Aldershot Town nil. Yeah, I think maybe Aldershot Town could have stopped that attack a couple of times in its build-up, but once that ball came to Domi, what a finish. To Rowe. Um, and at times, look, now you're looking for a run from Barham or Tolaj, and they both make the same run. Tolaj is in, tries to head it to Barham. Barham shoots, it's a good effort. Aldershot have created a chance. Edster evades the challenge of Widrington. Paul McCallum scored a goal back for Eastleigh against Barnet. It's 1-3. Here's Chapman breaking in from the left. A cushioned pass. Polian might get shot in. And he drags it wide. But it uh, misses him and Clifford goes through to the defence. It's played down the right-hand side. Polian's nipped onto it in front of Kean Harris. Ball into the area. Lots of shots, players back. But it's played back to Clifford who lifts his shot over the bar. Tolage, although Frost is going to have to just check and get it under control first. Will he go back to Jones? Yes, he does. Can Jones get his cross in? He goes back to Widrington. Oh, the opportunity for a thrust of attack has gone. Yeah. Ebbsfleet have got all their players back into the low block and all the shot are now around the edge of the final third. O'Keefe with the ball forward. Finds Jones, touches it back. Shot from Frost is a good one. On target, straight into the midriff of Mark Cousins who gratefully lays on the ball because it's very close to half-time. Good effort from Frost, but no joy for the shots. Here's Edster just bursting through the middle between Widrington and O'Keefe. Now he sends it out to Chapman, who is always going to come back on his right foot, and he does so to good effect again. Here's McQueen up against Harry's. He wants to get it on his left foot for a shot. It's high, it's rising, it's over the bar. That's exactly yeah. what he's doing. He's a demanding manager. All shot, trying to press Ebsfleet in the edge of their final third at the moment. Widrington does win it. He's advancing towards the uh, goal now, shoots, and it ends up at the back row of the Aldershot Town fans. Listening at work, I mean, I can only assume it's morning where he is. Uh, he's listening with his colleague, Steve Carr, another expat West Ham supporter, and Maidenhead is his favourite non-league team. Here's Widrington. Well, he's bursting in on the edge of the air, and the referee's pulled it back for a free kick on toe, lads. Well, here's his opportunity, 30 yards out, Tolaj. Oh, it lands on the top of the netting. It's because all shot down just haven't had the collective now, so ability to unlock this absolute defence. Polion dashing through, Haji Minoga dives in, does really well. Polion gets up again, shot comes in, and it's straight at Jordi van Stapperscher. Who's the deepest outfield player. Oh, terrible ball inside from Widrington. He's given it straight to an Ebbsfleet player. Polian running onto it. He's up against Rowe. Good shot. Powerful on target. Diverted wide by Jordi van Stapperschoff. And now Ebbsfleet might counter. And they tried to get Polian in on the right-hand side. He's picked it up. He's cutting in to the edge of the area. Wants it back on his left foot. Two shots. Players back now. Shot comes in. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. He found the tightest of gaps. 
but Polian found it. His first goal in the National League. Ebbsfleet double their lead. And that might be good night for Aldershot Town. Yeah, that should be good night and huge credit to Polion there. The chance seemed to have gone. Ebbsfleet United 2, Aldershot Town 0. Army on Harfield, but Harris clears it up towards Toledge. Nice touch from him, finds Frost. Can Frost poke it through to Glover? Glover receives it on the edge of the area on the right-hand side, shoots. Oh, it hits the inside of the bar and comes out. And it's not Aldershot's night. What, it would have been that grandstand finish that whatever I think was is the most Shot Town can hope for. Yeah, the, you can't knock their work right, work rate all night. They've just lacked quality. There's Tyler Frost with a brilliant effort, parried away, squared back in from Glover, and then it will be cleared by Ebbsfleet. As far as O'Keefe. O'Keefe to Harfield. Harfield down the line to Josh Stokes. Josh Stokes steps over it onto his right foot, squares it across, brilliantly cleared away by Josh Wright. 